water is so yummy. Hi, Matt here. Welcome to week five. We are on day two of week five of The Artist's Way, A Spiritual Path to Higher Creativity by Julia Cameron. And in week five, we are exploring recovering a sense of possibility. And we've started by first looking at the ways that we are limiting ourselves. And while we are ever clever in the ways that we self-sabotage ourselves, one very observable way is a scarcity mentality. That is believing, thinking that our luck will run out and that we are limited in the ways that the universe really has our back. <clears throat> I remember when I was having a coming to God moment and things just seemed to, too good to be true. And then they continued to be too good to be true. And I was like, is this, a, can this just be true? Like, <laughs> I remember many times I was like just looking for ways for life to go sideways because surely things can't be this good. And thank God, literally thank God goddesses that I didn't continue to go down that rabbit hole because I really feel like we find what we're looking for, good or bad. And here I am now, three years later, and things continue to feel too good to be true. And this is moving through 2020. This is, a, I mean, I've gone through a lot, some heartaches, a lot of stuff, but all of it happens from the seat of awareness where I recognize this is just coming and going. I witness it. I get to choose how I respond to everything that's happening. And I choose to respond with creativity, with like, uh, there is opportunity here. So it may seem like a very rosy way to look at the world. And of course, you could also look at me and say, ah, young, healthy, good looking, successful, American, white male, of course things are working out for you. <laughs> Which sounds a lot like a scarcity mentality, but I could also point out many close friends of mine who are young, healthy, good looking, successful, American, white males that are drowning in their own misery. And so with awareness of our scarcity thinking, we can begin to, to create the life that is too good to be true. And as Julia shares, we come to recognize that God is unlimited in supply and that everyone has equal access. Remembering that God is our source, an energy that likes to extend, extend itself we become more able to tap our creative power effectively. By listening to the creator within, we are led to our right path. You know where this is going. The morning pages are a great way to do that listening, to give that creator within space to say, to talk what it really wants and allow things to align towards that directive. So, if you haven't already, let us do our morning pages. I've been doing these art pages. I don't know if you are have been jamming with us in the art room with Marva, but she has introduced me to what she calls art journals, creative journals, where it is much like the morning pages. And actually we start by doing our morning pages and then over top of our morning pages, we let the creativity flow through colors, through pictures, through visuals, and we still get to process those things that we want to release, those things that we want to call in through art. Ah! I'm reluctant to say to replace this with our morning pages because there is something with the written word that is phenomenally profound and transformative, but just planting this seed. <laughs> if uh, you want to play with that, there might be something there for you. It, there certainly there's something for me and I'm gonna continue to play with that. <clears throat> So thank you, Marva. And if you're interested, come join us in the art room. Lots of good stuff going on over there. And with that, I just want to leave us with um, this last tidbit that um, 
Julia shares in, in reference to the morning pages and how we can continue to use them as a tool to listen and manifest. Okay, so one way we listen is by writing our morning pages. At night, before we fall asleep, we can list areas in which we need guidance. In the morning, writing on these same topics, we find ourselves seeing previously unseen avenues of approach. Experiment with this two-step process. Ask for answers in the evening. Listen for answers in the morning. Be open to all help. Awesome. Good day. Ah, such a good sesh. Thank you for joining me. Um, on the artist's way on today's session. I look forward to diving into tomorrow's session as we explore finding the flow, dropping into that flow, the river. So I look forward to that and I will see you tomorrow. Until then, peace, love, and trust.